As a future inspiring filmmaker, I always had a desire to make constructual films. Constructual films have a beginning, a middle, and an end. On the flip side of constructual films, there is also experimental films and avant-garde films. I, like most people, found experimental films to be, well, rather weird. They are bound by no rules and seem to make no sense, which in the end is the point of them. Visual artistry and emotion are the key aspects of experimental film. Avant-garde films are like experimental films where they think outside of the box, but avant-garde films abide by the rules the filmmaker sets upon it. The following clip shows the difference in avant-garde as the film has three major rules it follows, filmed in completely in black and white, the use of a shutter effect, and no dialogue. Avant-garde films play in art house cinemas. Experimental films play mostly in makeshift theaters like this one, the world's smallest theater. It seats eight and is solar powered in Britain and plays short films made by people who live in the neighborhood. Films at this recycled cinema last just 20 minutes, just as well when the auditorium is so small. Experience that I think we've lost with the multiplexes. Playing to a packed house is no difficult task, but last screenings in Ramsgate are today. Kirsten Hills, BBC Southeast Today, Ramsgate. Most people are familiar with music videos and don't realize that they are also a type of experimental film. Just check out these scenes from Lady Gaga and Soundgarden videos and you'll see exactly what I mean. When I decided to film and edit my own experimental films for our class's 30-day experiment, I knew music had to play an integral part. Many experimental filmmakers try to incorporate a dreamlike quality to their films in order to set them apart from conceptual films. One famed Thailand experimental film director films things from a moving vehicle in order to achieve that effect. I tried to incorporate dreamlike aspects in my own 30-day experiment films. This included filming things 
that ran backwards from a moving vehicle or even in a fog. While a constructual filmmaker tends to only make constructual film, the experimental film genre has actually birthed two different types of film directors. One director believes he only should make experimental films because that is who he is and that is what he does, while the other director makes both constructual films and experimental films. The most famous of these directors is David Lynch. Here's a scene from my favorite Lynch film, Lost Highway. Yeah, I don't think so. It's your house, don't you remember? No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I'm there right now. That's crazy, man. Call me. Many Hollywood films have at least one scene that uses the experimental film technique. Cinema Social is a type of experimental film that is now picking up steam in Spain. It shows people through an unflinching eye in places that most filmmakers don't dare go. I myself tried to incorporate this type of filmmaking in some of my experimental films by shooting some dilapidated areas in Indianapolis. The very first film ever made was Thomas Edison's Frankenstein in 1910. While many would argue that this film is a constructual film because it has a beginning, middle, and end and tells a complete story, I would say it's an experimental film in the fact that it was an experiment just to make a film at that time. Experimental films are important for the following reasons. They are used in music videos, they're used in constructual films, they're used as a reflection on society, and everyone has been exposed to them in their life. And now I conclude this video with some images from my own experimental film. Thank you for watching. They jump. They jump.